John had cardiac arrest in our home at 2 o'clock in the morning on Friday or Saturday morning. And I'll just tell you this very shortly. I was there with him. I had been up with him. Uh, we went to bed about 10.30, and he had difficulty breathing. And so we prayed, and, and he was up and down, up and down. Finally, he said, sweetheart, you're so tired. I'm going to go lay in the den. Just lay on the couch, and then, uh, you know, I'll just rest in there, and he could kind of prop himself up. So I said, okay, that's fine. So, and I went to sleep immediately when he walked out of the bedroom door. And then about 2 o'clock in the morning, now I didn't realize this, but when he got in the den, he called for Gary. Gary and April used to live in Kingwood, but just a couple of years ago, they moved over just a few blocks from us. We could walk to their home. He called Gary, and he said, Gary, would you come over and sit with me? Mother's so tired. Mother is so tired. And our sons-in-law called John Daddy and said, would you just come sit with me? So Gary got up. Well, actually, he hadn't even gone to bed, Tommy. He'd been there with y'all, and he hadn't even gone to bed about 1 o'clock. And they sat there and talked, and, and he said it was so precious, and John's voice was kind of little, uh, soft. And, uh, and Gary talked to him, and, and he was so sweet. And he said, Mother's so tired, Gary, and I wanted you to come be with me. And he was wrapped up in a blanket, and he didn't feel well. And, and Gary said to him, when he said, this is the darkest time of our lives and mother's tired, he said, Daddy, do you ever wonder where God is in all this suffering? Gary said that to him. The last words he spoke on this earth, and his voice had been soft, he spoke up and he said, Well, his mercy endures forever. Jesus was helping him through the, through the suffering. Jesus was helping him. Jesus was right there with him as close as the very breath that he was breathing. And so then just a few seconds later, he, he uh, quit breathing. His heart stopped. Paramedics did revive him, and he lived another about 14 hours in the hospital. But he went home to be with Jesus. And you know what? I think when he got there, he saw all these wonderful people from India that had died, that we sent money to, all these people in the other countries that you helped send bicycles to that went home early. He sees them all there. He saw Jesus. He saw his mother. And they're all saying, come on in, son. I'm proud of you. Jesus said, come on in. I'm proud of you.